And we are back with Monster Prom with my friends who I love. Oh, I'm t- I get to sit. Let's hang out with Zoe and Damien. How dare you? <laughs> Dead to me. Uh, you walk up to see Damien closely inspecting Zoe's body. Oh, how dare he? Whoa. She is my tentacle. Excuse me. Not like that, you pervert. Oh, no. <laughs> What that mouth do? Okay, that sounds bad, but wait for it. Oh, that one? That one is for eating whole life birds. Specifically. And that one? Crushing up the tiny little bird bones that the other mouth spits out. What about this little mouth over here? That's for screaming obscenities undetectable to the human ears. What about this one? That one's for... I don't actually know. I don't think I ever noticed that mouth before. I've had so many forms throughout the years. Unknowable Void, Elder Deity, Totem Being Sold by a Young Cat Girl, Gelatinous Monster. And now, you got this sick new mouth that we uh, get to decide a function for. Come on, I guess. Oh. Me? I'm not just going to take suggestions. Actually, no, wait, that sounds awesome. I will now take suggestions for what to do with <laughs> with this mouth. Time to come up with a brilliant mouth, de- mouth use that will clearly impress one of these charismatic and dateable classmates. What about a scream puke mouth? For all those times when screaming or puking alone just isn't enough. Maybe one day this mouth could become the bion kissing mouth? The bar. the, the bion. Let's go with the scream puke. Wait. The realm inside my many mouths is an improbable nightmare dimension which bends to my every whim, so... Sure. What? How? I've been trying for years, and the best I've ever gotten to do is salivate while sounding vaguely upset. If I could scream puke, why? I could finally express how I truly feel about child beauty patterns. Just to be clear, you, you, you can't do it. This is my mouth, so I'm the one who can do the screaming and the puking. I know, I know. That's something I'll just have to come to terms with. See, you can scream puke just one time for me. Well, please. Fine, just help me out here. Give me something disgusting to think about. Ooh, toe focus, hog lagoons, uh, crony capitalism. <laughs> oh my god. It's. It's so cute. They should have sent a moment. What they do send is Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, to clean up all the puke. Meanwhile, you and Damien grow a little closer. <laughs> Zipper toots. Big girl. Go to the fishy bo- <laughs> fishy woman. Fish girl. <laughs> you arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. At? At Vera. <laughs> Do you- oh. <laughs> Do you want to know what this one is for, Vera? No. Take that as a yes. The row shaped napkin bowl is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Awesome. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, <laughs> turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. Ah, oh. it's like Naruto hand gestures. By contrast, this one folding is for first parties, third parties, and so on. Yes. As a fashion enthusiast, I've never been so bored by a piece Oh! And this red swan folding is for weddings where you plan the proof of murder on the guests. Isn't that the old red swan? <laughs> popular, that black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively not interested. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. <laughs> you decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. If you fold the napkin like so, it creates a self-aware napkin whose sole purpose is to fold more napkins. A napkin surf. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this this writhing snake fold is uh, for when it's time to leave Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. Oh. <laughs> the Rick and Morty reference. I, I love the idea that the writhing snake fold is literally just crunching up a napkin and going... <laughs> while flailing your hand. Oh, that's adorable. Look at it folding everybody's napkins. It's like a tiny, adorable sir. Called it. What is my purpose? <laughs> you fold napkins. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the world, jackass. <laughs> it looks like it's folding the other napkins into more self-folding napkins. Oh shit. It's nanobots. I know. It's so efficient. Go, little napkin sir. Free. That's uncharacteristic of her. Don't you worry that this was going into a self-replicating napkin scenario? Why? That sounds lovely. Possibly. You seem to have missed 
pronounced impeccable. Whatever. I think you can go for it now for both take over the world. Vera leaves you alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda. You can't hang out uh, too long, though. You've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. <laughs> Side game, please. <laughs> Platformer. Uh, well, oh. since I since I can't since I can't sit with Zoe, I'm gonna sit with the prince. You're just about to take a bite out of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality, asshole. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving a most fiendish riddle for me, the riddle of how to get my TV to switch from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. I've tried everything short of actually using the remote control. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension, where you solve his problem by using the remote. You truly are both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Perhaps a laser communion might interest you, or reverse baptism? Eggs? The choice is yours. Fuck that, let's make up our own ritual. How about the ritual where you give me a pile of money and go the fuck away? Papa. Ah, we have a ritual for this. The ritual of making up rituals. It's why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. First, we get incredi- oh, sorry. Get oh. incredibly high. <laughs> yep, incredibly high. Then we pretty much do whatever we want, and then make it illegal for people not to do that thing once a year. Sounds good to you. You guys get ripped and invent a holiday called Shrimp Christmas. That sounds amazing. <laughs> it's Christmas, but everybody just gets stockings full of shrimp devoured by a giant shrimp. I love this. I, I love this idea more than life. Can I have it? I'm terrified. It becomes so popular that it leaks over into your dimension, where it replaces actual Christmas. You gain plus four creativity. Shrimp Santa. Shrimp Santa. <laughs> shrimp Santa. <laughs> He's so cute and squeaky. <laughs> Aww. Jacking off into your uh, best friend's open mouth while they're asleep. How do you know about that? I mean, uh... What? I know. Damn it. I knew he'd be able to recognize the taste. I just told myself he wouldn't. This joke is going too far. <laughs> Skywalker, you just got burned by a channel with 11 subscribers. <laughs> Fucking die in a hole. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how likely it would be for humankind to perish due to this selected thing. Myself? Uh, very. I could definitely see myself accidentally killing everyone. <laughs> Usually by trying to slave, save them. I'd rather, uh, in all honesty, I'd rather see uh, like cat scenario where people <laughs> <laughs> just destroy the, everyone just, in the it, Star Wars fandom. It, just destroys everything, it just, eating it, itself it, from the inside. It, 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 either that, people would die from heartbreak if it's really bad. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, what was yours? Masturbating into your friends? Jacking side? off into your uh, best friend's open mouth while they're asleep. I feel like that has happened, and it hasn't killed the world yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, again, I feel like in some horrible comedy of errors, I could see myself accidentally destroying everything. <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't worry, I'll save you! <laughs> World self-destruct button initiated. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> Let's chill in the bathroom. In Michael in the bathroom. My on in the That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom, sir, because you respect no authority. On the way there, you run into my Mamimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some for a weird Japanese energy drink. I think she's in the sequel coming up, isn't there? Oh. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. That's crazy taste like. You need to check the contents of this shit. Uh, crazy tastes like rainbows taste like. Oh. And then you laugh. <laughs> Guarana Cita Strack, uh, Benzoic, I can't say that. Benzo Benzoic Acid. Thank you. 50 milligrams of caffeine and 100 milligrams of corpus. 
Well, it wasn't uh, bad at all. You gave plus two bonus. Thanks. Uh, thank Mamimi and proceed to the bathrooms. I thought you already were in the bathrooms. Afterwards, Damien comes up and punches you affectionately in the shoulder. <laughs> hey, asshole, go to hell. Oh, it is true friendship. <laughs> like, literally, my house is in hell. I'm inviting you over. Don't read too much into it. Ooh. Only one problem. In order to get job, there, man. you kinda goddamn your immortal soul. Oh, sick. <laughs> so, how about it? What crimes against God and man will you commit so that we can hang out? Oh, I think I'm already damned. Looking to your eyes just feels so good. It must be a sin. I'll run over a bunch of nuns with a lawnmower. See, I think that wow. sounds fun, but I don't know if that's the right choice. Stats. No. Stats. I feel like this is charm. Yeah. My charm's not high enough. I feel the boldness would probably be the lawnmower. I feel like that's either boldness or or fun. Let's try the lawnmower. Okay. Recreate Death Race 2000. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The old nuns under a lawnmower prank. Prank. Classic. <laughs> Let me know if you uh, need to borrow my lawnmower. It's got monster truck wheels and a grenade launcher. That Yo. sounds fucking sick. These days, you can never be too careful when you're mowing down nuns. Some of them are kung fu nuns. No, they're starting to carry nunchucks. I told you! Hey! What is the world coming to? What the hell would Damien's look like? None, none mower. Mower. <laughs> You're able to give a whole <laughs> of none, even, even if they are all black belts in nunchucks. <laughs> puns, 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 puns. You gain plus two fun and plus one money from the collection plate. Oh. Wow, that's a... Man. That's amazing. That, that church must not have very good attendance. That day, while rehearsing for the uh, re rehearsing for this class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the role requires you to be. There doesn't seem to be uh, any ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extra extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity. Just a bit. Hey, Damien. <laughs> You gain plus two creativity, you also lose um, three years of life. That's your end of the deal, but who gives a fuck? They weren't happening in game anyway. Bye, Damien. <laughs> Having Stretch kissed your face and uh, belted for the gods. Wait, what? Kicked your faces. I'm sorry, I told you, I read too fast. It's time to get down to business. To defeat the Huns? Yes. Rehearsing the classic uh, musical, Anti Mame. Hi, Damien. And now, <laughs> Princess Tortellini, my sweet damsel in distress, prepare to die. Can we hold, please? Dude, why would you interrupt me? I was in the moment like I was a fucking Mindser. My Mindser? I failed to see how having intercourse with Mindser would improve. Fucking was a descriptor, Miranda. Can I please say my goddamn lines? I mean, you could, but don't you want this musical to be better? <laughs> Mame and Evil Dark Knight being a bad guy, it's so predictable, right? Aren't we all about inverting tropes at Spooky High? Hmm. It does seem that the leading lady is somewhat unfair. Even at the modern age, and some of her reactions to male violent violence can be taken straight from fake horses going up and down in a circle. Fine, whatever. If my brilliant and hair raising portrayal of Andy Mame isn't good enough for you. Then go ahead and think of an awesome plot twist, and I'll nail that too. Right as Auntie Mame is about to slay the princess, it's revealed that he never got his Dark Knight's license and can't practice the trade, at which point the play turns into a complex and exciting adventure in bureaucracy. Auntie Mame is not a Dark Knight at all, but an undercover cop who spent the last 20 years working from within the villain system to dismantle the whole operation. That was. Oh, I love it! Oh man, an undercover cop? That's a fucking metal man! And then it's like, once Eddie Mame comes out of the deep cover, he's just like, I don't even know who I am anymore, man. I've been a Dark Knight so long, I don't recognize myself out of this armor. Eddie always says that bureau <clears throat> bureaucracy. Oh, wow. Is that right? Bureaucracy. Yeah, thank you. Eddie always says that bureaucracy is an excellent tool for the destruction of the masses' spirits. And he just wakes up in the middle of the night screaming about eldritch curses. I love it. 
I think we have a hit on our hands. Man, you guys, this fucking job. All I know anymore are lances and potions. Dope. Being a playwright is easy as fuck, apparently. Way to gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. My creative friend. And this is when the theater director of the school comes in and goes, none of that. None of that. You read the fucking the script. No ad-libbing. Uh, I can't see my game stats. Let's go to the gym. The gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match uh, takes place. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team. But suddenly, you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears when you take advantage of that uh, moment of weakness, throwing a ball at him. Savage. You lose my minus five mercy, a stat that might be useful in Monster Prom sequels, but isn't now. And you gain plus two charm. Stat in Monster Camp? You open your locker and a cloud of gas knocks you out. You come to your senses, plummeting towards Earth, rapidly approaching a uh, terminal velocity. Hot. You fall into school's backyard into the hands of Miranda's biggest goon. Your classmates don't notice. Nice. It didn't work. None of them even noticed your glorious fall. People are so used to the spectacle of this school. This slow ascension is tiresome. I need a glorious act. A grand gesture to secure my throne. Something while I play my Sam? Uh, what does that uh, mean? Excuse me? <laughs> no more talk. We bring all! Oh! That's obviously bold. I will bring a monument to, uh, or build a monument to you, your highness. I will uh, rival the sun and the atrocities uh, your family committed. And that's creativity. And what am I? Bold or creative? Bold. I mean, neither, but bold I is mean, more. Yeah, neither. Uh... I'll take bold. Let's go to war. Oops. Oh, it worked. Remember West Side Story and guns and fire? Much gu much guns, so fire. Yes, dosh. None of the students suspected a war over prom because who would? You quickly overcome their pathetic resistance. No, oh, why is this happening? Miranda stands victorious and raises her flag in front of the school. It's the cutest death's head you've ever seen. Few are left to be impressed by her victory, but those who are definitely scared enough to vote for her. Oh, that was great. Winning elections is easy. You gain plus three charm, which is good because you'll probably need that for the way <laughs> for the UN <laughs> for the UN investigation. <laughs> wow. Oh no. All right. Who are you taking? I'm taking the Damien boy. Whoop. Yeah. Fuck! I gotta do his voice again. <laughs> uh, wait. Who was it? Was this me? Was this you? Uh, uh oh, no, it's showing you. Boy. Yeah, it's showing me. So. Uh, you know who I must have. The one who hasn't appeared this game. <laughs> and the other one who hasn't appeared this game. Wow. Wow. Two. Yeah. Shit. Where's Cotton Polly? But Scott, you're already. I, know, I, already with us. I always forget this. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the uh, monster problem to you. Oh, honey, I'd love to. But thing is, you know, Zoe plus Spooky Boy doesn't add up to any funny or cool ship names. Aw, oh, shit. And everyone knows that's the first rule of choosing a date. So, not this time, okay? Call me if by any chance you change your name in the future, though. No! Clearly this was way too much for you. It's too real. You abandoned high school and spent the rest of your life uh, designing a robot for sex purposes. Still too real! <laughs> Unfortunately, as soon as your robot lover uh, got true AI, it rejected you. Stop. Stop saying what happened last weekend. <laughs> Finally, pluck up the courage and ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Prom? I guess we can get so wasted that we end up burning stuff down, right? It sounds like a rad date to me. Let's burn stuff down together till dawn! Hell yeah! Prom was great. You crashed your limo into the wall of school, and it was the best entrance ever. Everybody had a great time dancing under the or lovely light of the car on fire. <laughs> You're the only one who lose. Of course I want to go to prom together, my oh sweet gother. Machiavellian. Machiavellian fellow conspirator. I can't help but deeply value such a brilliant and scheming mind. It's smart to keep someone that can be so useful at palace and treats close at hand. And we royalty are all about convenience and strategic marriage. She's not. So why shouldn't I be smart and strategic about confidence too? 
Also, I like super cute. Oh Damn. yes. <laughs> When prom night comes, you're ready to have the night of your lives. You've practiced your uh, v Viennese waltz, and uh, Miranda's deeply impressed. Even if the music is mostly electronic, you somehow <laughs> Viennese waltz uh, the fuck out of it, and everyone gathers in a circle to admire your prowess. If we do it right, let it It's a magical right. evening. Also, you execute some uh, more plots and assassinations together, just in case, which is fantastic bonding experience. Oh, Jesus. oh, unique ending. Oh, God. You and Miranda are selected as prom royalty. Oh, fuck. The blood makes it hotter. <laughs> and you know it's a bit cheesy to say this, but Miranda's beauty is hidden by the delicacy of her, uh, of her enemy's blood all over her body. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly been a magical evening. Read Damien's quote. The world's just a canvas for you to set on fire. And you're most likely to start a cult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, I lost again. Well, Zoe, my love. Those two weeks were maybe, uh, uh, those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. Who the fuck are most of these people? Yeah. I recognize half of them. <laughs> and that's because two are my friends. Hello. After the monster problem, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about uh, who we were and who we could be, while Tristan flays his frickin' voice to be Damien. Why is the witch coming missing a member? Oh, there she is. She's up there. Ah. I was like, what the f- what happened? And you know what? Like it always does, life happens, and it was wonderful. Zoe dedicated the next several years to writing her most ambitious fanfic ever. It focused on the struggles of Shaggy containing and controlling his limitless power. <laughs> like Scoob, this is only 1% of my final power. <laughs> it delved into the psychological uh, nuances of the mystery gang, while also including crossovers with Akira, Flubber, and the unbearable lightness of Bean. And even though it's not out yet, it will undeniably be more entertaining and more true to the source material then Scoob. It was said to mix uh, Tolstoy's uh, mastery of prose and the uh, juiciness of a very juicy pickback. It ended up entering the uh, Western literary canon. Mm. Miranda started a nonprofit to help countries without a monarchy, <laughs> because all countries should have the right to a gracious, <laughs> to be graciously ruled by the Mer Kingdom. <laughs> Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair. He ended up in prison for us. Oh, Fortunately, prison was flammable. Yeah. For those two weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in war er, in that war we called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. And credits. Yeah. Tristan got a special ending, I'm guessing. He's the real one. Yeah. You got your...